These proud locals want to set the record straight. They love the suburb, but loathe its nickname. For the critics, they've got two words. Back off. Broady, you've probably heard of it. It's got a reputation that precedes it. But it beats living on the streets. But is living in one of Melbourne's most disadvantaged suburbs as bad as it seems? I've got a couple of friends that live around the corner. Oh, have you got some sugar? Yeah, I've got sugar. How much do you want? Oh, so, yeah, you that's know, what you, you want do. in your neighbourhood. Oh, you do, you do. And they're not just living in broad meadows. Their homes are in the so-called Bronx, the Broady Bronx. It has got the name of the Broady Bronx, but, does but it I don't know it? why. But no, it's not. It's just how you make it. It has like a worse name than it, it really is. I'll so see. people aren't getting stabbed, people aren't getting tasered. No, no. I've had no violence. I've been here years and years. It was coined Broadie Bronx back in the 80s. Five decades on, Banksia Gardens still cops that nickname. And whether you think it's fair or not, this place is in need of a pick-me-up. You see, there's a mould issue, there's a lot of cracks in the roofings. There's a lot of people that have been denied uh, exhaust fans. They've been told by whoever they've contacted to just crack a window. All they keep doing is just painting over it. They're painting over the mould? Yeah, pretty much. Banksia Gardens is an estate home to more than 100 government houses. Even the mayor refers to it as the Bronx. Be it right, be it wrong, I think it's stuck. And these locals, like Gavin, fear their estate has been forgotten. Yeah, they promise you the world, they give you an atlas. Hawthorne's getting it, those that live in the city, they're all getting it. Resident of 17 years, Lisa Falkingham, is talking about funding. The very funding Banksia Gardens isn't receiving. Get out of your office and come and visit us. In the 2020 to 21 Victorian budget, $5.3 billion was promised to fix the state's social and affordable housing crisis. It was hailed a historic landmark investment known as the Big Housing Build. But it seems it's just not big enough to give a helping hand to Banksia Gardens. Not a sense of it has been invested in a place like Banksia Gardens. Hugh Mayor Joseph Hawil spoke out about the issue, but declined to talk to a current affair. So instead, we spoke to John and Mark and Lily, people who say they know what's going on better than the Mayor does. I think that housing try and kind of cover it and make it look better on the outside than it is. Residents say the money that is being spent in Banksia Gardens is going to all the wrong areas. Bronson's employed by the Department of Human Services to install new fences in the estate. They don't understand why we're doing the fences. They don't think there's anything wrong with them. In two years, 2006 new government homes have gone up across Victoria. But residents are questioning why there's currently 445 new builds underway in the city of Stonington, home to Melbourne's ritziest suburbs, and just 96 in the city of Hume. I think it's wrong. It should be evenly distributed. In a statement, Homes Victoria told us it's consulting with Hume City Council and partner agencies on possible future investment opportunities for Banksia Gardens. Meanwhile, these residents are after a place to call home that's called just that, or maybe... Broady neighbourhood or Broady social, something better than the Bronx.